fish and chips, stealth camping, and watch the football. Tell me, life surely doesn't get any better than that. Uh-oh. Come on, please! If there's one day I didn't need a flat battery, it's today. Oh, God! So for the last couple of months here in England, we've been getting a fair bit of snow, but not down in the south in London. So tonight I'm driving about an hour away outside of London to a place called Leith Hill because I went on Instagram this morning and I saw pictures galore of snowfall. So I'm going to drive down there now, go for a nice walk, show you guys what it's like. It's a lovely, nice countryside area and then we'll try and find somewhere to stay tonight. Not a huge amount, it has to be admitted, but still not there yet. So, the higher I go, the more snow, baby! Yeah! Snow. Look at the snow. We made it back to the car. Time to go and grab some food and then figure out where to stay tonight. Need to get these boots off because they are soaking, soaking wet. Let's go. This car literally guzzles fuel like no tomorrow. 25 miles per gallon isn't cheap. So I've just pulled up on the side of the road. I was gonna go shopping and grab some food to cook tonight, but to be honest with you, I'm not feeling doing a cook tonight. I think I'm just gonna be lazy and go and buy some fish and chips, but then I still need to try and figure out where to stay. So I'm gonna have a quick look on Park for Night, which as always, Park for Night is the app which I use to find all of the places pretty much that I'm going to sleep in the car for the night. So I'll have a quick look through that and see if there's anywhere good that it recommends. Okay, so the area that I'm in now is still the Surrey Hills. I'm in a town called Dorking and according to Park for Night, there's not really a lot of places nearby to stay. There is one place which is in, I think, the Leisure Community Car Park. I used to play five-a-side football there every Monday. Yeah, I don't think I want to stay there tonight. So I think I'm going to check out a place where I used to play football every Saturday when I was much younger, which I miss so much playing football every Saturday. Goddamn COVID. It's basically a big sports field and they have a big car park behind it. So we'll go and check that out later. First things first, I'm pretty hungry. I'm going to order myself some fish and chips. Hi there, could I uh, make an order, please? 
Hi, right. could I get um, a large cod and chips, please? Oh, cold, 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 cold. Sorry, I feel like I'm saying that in every video. Just picked up the fish and chips. Smells absolutely delicious. So, we're gonna head over to tonight's spot, and fingers crossed, I can stay there. You know it's cold when there's steam coming out from your wee. <sighs> so tonight, we are stealth camping next to pretty much some sports fields. There's a big building there where they host sporting events. I don't know, this is Dorking Rugby Club, basically. So I'm just going to be stealth camping in the car park. It's a nice, old, big, empty car park. You can kind of hear the road, but probably when I'm inside of the car, I won't be able to hear that. And I got a torch, can you tell? Look how good it is. This is an absolute game changer. More about the torch though, when I'm gonna get in the car. Look how cold it is. <sighs> Apparently it's gonna drop down to about minus two tonight. I know you guys always like to see my setup. So here we go. Still got the electric blanket, which I've not sent back yet because it doesn't seem to be working, but it does look very toasty and warm in there at the moment anyway. It definitely won't be in about five, 10 minutes. <laughs> it just stinks of fish and chips in here. <laughs> a nice smell, but not a smell that I'd want lingering around for a while, I must say. Fish and chips, stealth camping, and watch the football. Tell me, life surely doesn't get any better than that. Sorry that I'm not cooking anything tonight because I know a lot of you guys, you like to see me cooking and setting fire to my bed and poisoning myself with carbon monoxide, but tonight, I just thought I would do it really simple. I can't be bothered to cook. So fish and chips it is. But still, smell that with me. Mmm, that didn't go in my mouth. Large cotton chips with salt, no vinegar. Not a fan of vinegar. I've got some ketchup and some mayonnaise. I literally have mayonnaise with every meal. It's ridiculous. Tomorrow morning I will cook something up though. I've still got the eggs from the last video. I've actually stayed in this car probably four nights out of seven in the last week or so. I'm just loving it. It's the only way at the moment to get out and do something. Have a go on that. Have a go on that. No, we're not running out of mayonnaise, am I? <gasps> oh, that'll be the world's end. Let's go, baby, let's go. The first bite of the fish with a good dollop of mayonnaise on the side. Mm. I'm liking the batter to fish ratio. Nice and crunchy, delicious. Oh, I can't eat any more. I'm absolutely stuffed. The thing with the classic fish and chips is you always get a thousand more chips than you need, but I'll be able to save them to put in a nice wrap in the morning for breakfast. As always, I got some new gadgets and gizmos to try and make living in here and sleeping in here, I've just dropped something on the floor, a little bit more comfortable. I always like to share this stuff with you guys because you're always asking and uh, personally when I watch other people making videos like this, I always like to know what kind of things they're using. So if you've been watching the channel for a while then you'll know that trying to stay warm in the car at night has been pretty difficult and I've tried a few different solutions. In the last video I got an electric blanket which sadly doesn't seem to actually warm up However, that could be a power issue. I'm not exactly sure yet. I did order myself this. This is a Dynasty Campfire Heater. I haven't used it yet, so tonight will be the first night. Basically this, you screw on top of the gas stove and light it up, and I believe it will help just to distribute the heat a bit more. Of course, I still have my carbon monoxide alarm on, and I have the windows open so a bit of ventilation can happen, and uh, yeah, I won't die of carbon monoxide poisoning, so I'm looking forward to trying this out. Another safety precaution which I got, yes, a fire blanket. I now have, oh, hold on, I'm trying to get it, a toy fire extinguisher, probably not the best fire extinguisher, but also now a good fire blanket because lots of people recommended that to me. It just goes to show I do read all of your comments because all of the suggestions and the tips and the advice that you guys share with me, 
I try to implement it into the videos and obviously listen to it and get things like this so the car doesn't blow up. One of the last things that I actually have, and this is something that was sent to me from a company. This here is the flashlight that I was using a few minutes ago. It's from a company called Through Night, and this flashlight is the BSS V4. And they sent it to me yesterday, so today is really the first time that I've been able to try it out. And let me tell you, it's bloody good. This video isn't sponsored, they just send it to me and I said, yeah, cool, send it to me, I need a flashlight anyway, and I'll let you know what I think. But after using it only for a few minutes, it's good. It's got a lot of power, so you can really see far into the distance in pitch black. I also like the way that it's made. It's made out of aluminium, I believe, so it's nice and sturdy. Has a few different settings. So from now on, this is gonna be my go-to flashlight when it's dark. It has a turbo mode at the back. You press this button here, now we have real light, real power. God, that would actually blind you. Even shining it now through the window, this is gonna be so handy and helpful to have. So big thanks to Through Night for, uh, for sending this to me. Okay, so the temperature's just started to drop. So I'm gonna get this going, try out my new heating system. Carbon monoxide on everybody, on. You just put these over here like so. Now that's on. We turn the gas on. Woo! Let's see how that does. Just probably have to wait for these metal bars to warm up. The good thing is you can actually cook something on top of here. So if you wanted to put a pan or I don't know, a mug of water, you could actually just put it directly on top. You can already see the metal inside just starting to warm up. This isn't gonna be a complete fix for staying warm at night, but it will definitely take the chill out of the air. Doesn't get better than this. Football on, on my iPhone, Man City, Man United. And we've got this thing producing a nice bit of heat. So hopefully tonight I'll be a little bit warmer. My only concern with doing what I'm doing now with the gas stove inside the car is that I've got the windows open, you know, a couple of inches and I'm breathing in oxygen and obviously the carbon monoxide will be using the oxygen to work. And the last time I did this, I woke up and I felt very heavy chested and my throat was slightly sore and I'm still feeling that three or four days later. So I just want to try it again now to see how I feel in the morning. I won't keep this on all night, it's just a literally take the chill out the air for the evenings and the mornings. I'm gonna spend the evening trying to stay warm and watching the football. I feel like I'm saying this in every video recently, but tonight definitely feels like the coldest night that I would have spent in the car. I might even sleep with this on. I'm gonna finish off watching the football and then head off to bed for a nice early night. There is still nobody in the car park, so it's a nice, quiet, safe place to be for the night. Look at that. That is weird. I guess that's because I finally had an adequate amount of, uh, of oxygen flowing through. Was chilly this morning already. It's chilly right now, in fact. I've got my clothes inside my sleeping bag again, just to warm them up. And then we'll get up, cook up some nice breakfast. I think some eggs and a wrap again this morning, of course. What else? And then head on out of here. But sadly, no snow by the looks of things, but a bit of frost on the ground. It's cold. Looks like it's just me and a couple of other cars this morning. Trader.com and search through plenty of vetted, reviewed, reliable professionals in an Oh. Double egg, mayonnaise, bit of salt, bit of pepper, wrap, have a go in there. 
Oh, yeah, so good, yeah. Uh-oh. I've just gone to start the car to leave, and I've got a flat battery. Shit. Oh, no, this is not good. Come on, please. <laughs> oh, sh I'm meant to be picking someone up from the airport soon. How has this happened? It must be the electric blanket. God damn the blanket. I hope I can jump start it. Luckily, I've got a kit with me. Please, please, please. I gotta get going. Christ, I can't be late. She'll kill me. If there's one day I didn't need a flat battery, it's today. I've not had a flat battery since the first time I ever converted this, when I went to Dorset. Please. Not today. This is an absolute disaster. Even my jump start battery isn't working. When I put it on, it starts clicking and flashing. So this is useless. Bollocks, I really did not need this this morning. Dad to the rescue. Oh, I am so cold now because I was fiddling about with the bonnet. Oh, I think the only way it would have gone flat is because yesterday I wanted to retry the electric blanket warmer running from my car engine and I had it probably plugged in for about 20 minutes or something like that just to see if the electric blanket would actually warm up and work and it still didn't and to me that can be the only thing that has drained the battery. I did have these lights on and they did flick off but even they're working right now so to me it can only be the electric blanket which was in for 20 minutes and on the back of the packet for the blanket it says that it won't drain the main car battery just gone and bought some jump leads so now fingers crossed we'll jump start it and i'll be on the way uh now you want to do the positive first and leg to the last well we are live again and we have power from now on, I will be keeping a set of jump leads in my car at all times because that was so much easier. And at least in the future, if this happens again, I can just jump start off anyone. On that bombshell, I think I'm gonna end this video because I'm gonna be very late to go and pick up my friend from the airport. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Bit of a disastrous morning, but uh, it's always an adventure when you watch one of my videos, I hope anyway. Make sure to give the video a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel and you want to see more videos like this. As always guys, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.